Hey y'all, we're Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping. Today we're going to take you on a tour of the Keystone Alpine 3910RK. We're going to start outside. This unit does have two entry doors, so this is going to be the front one. Um, it has the solid steps that fold inside. Has an outside receptacle, which is pretty standard. Um, it has the fold-up doors. They're not magnetic, but it has a little latch there. So when you fold it up, you just snap it. And it has a huge pass-through storage. This one does have the in-command center, which I see the brains for right there, which is the you know, uh, screen inside where you control everything. Does have an outside kitchen with the Jensen TV, has the two burner cooktop. And then just a little drawer to you know, store utensils or whatever in. This is gonna be the panel where you access your batteries and of course the hydraulics on this side. Speaking of hydraulics, this does have the new equalizer six point auto level system, which has a bigger footprint on all your front feet. Um, comes with the road armor pin box. So under the nose, this huge storage compartment is also where the brains of the hydraulics are kept. So I'm guessing any adjustments or filling or anything you need to do would be done there. And then your gas bottles are gonna be right here. So easy to get to. This is gonna be the control for your auto level. So the equalizer does have a little bit different of a keypad. Your water bay is going to be in its own separate compartment here, um, which is something different. So if you had an accident or a water problem, it would stay within this one little compartment. And then this is the flip side to that big pass-through storage. It does come standard with on-demand hot water. So this is looks very different from your normal hot water heater in the RV. Um, and he said they've been doing that for about a year and a half now. So that's an exciting feature. And I'm seeing that it's already wired while I'm here for the um, Furion ca cameras. Oh, tough word. So um, these are the sod marker lights and I'm sure it's wired for the one in the back as well. So the roof excess is a ladder here that's on the back and it does come standard with the trailer hitch and it even has the um, trailer lights so if you had something that had like the lights on your bike rack or whatever they're wired right there so come on in let's check it out what I like about this one is that it's a rear kitchen I've never had an RV with a rear kitchen so I'm not sure that that would be great but I feel like I really like the layouts of them um, this is gonna start with it has a residential fridge and it's like the French drawer, so it's got the drawer for the freezer. Has a full pantry with a motion light inside. Another plus. Also has the big insignia stove and oven. So you get the four burners and the full size oven. And then of course, you've got your cabinetry up top. Um, they're pretty deep cabinets, which is nice. And then this whole row of drawers, again, pretty deep as well. And then there's cabinets under the sink. Big place for your trash can, probably. The sink is the two bin, so it's, um, I think they call it a 70-30. So the big bin on this side, little bin on that side with the pull down faucet. This one has the four seat dinette. Um, the table does have the pull out leaf. So if you want to make it a little bit bigger. The sofa on the back side um, is the two recliners. They're electric and they have the USB ports in them for charging. And then the sofas and the opposing slides fold out into beds. They do also have the slow rise room darkening shades. 
and then your living room's going to come with the Jensen TV and um, entertainment package and the fireplace. This one does have the half bath on the main level, which I like, and it's a large bath. It's got the medicine cabinet, the big cabinets underneath, the shelving. Um, what I also really like about it is this is a huge linen closet and you might think you don't, don't necessarily need it. This is where your washer and dryer hookup is. So what that means is if you have a washer and dryer installed, this can kind of double as your laundry room and you don't have to give up the closet in your master bedroom to house your washer and dryer. So this is gonna be your master, east-west bed, and a slide. Little bench seat on the side, sit down and put your shoes on, that kind of thing. And it has some extra storage underneath. You have a um, tall chest of drawers on the side. The drawers aren't real deep, but there are five of them. And there's going to be under bed storage as well. This unit does have the barn doors um, throughout. And then can we just take a minute to talk about this huge master bath. Separate area with the toilet, the full size shower, the huge closet, which no matter whether you have a washer or dryer or not, stays a huge closet. You don't ever have to give that up. It has a little bench in there or a little area to keep your shoes. And you have the double vanity, which you're seeing more and more now, um, especially in the fifth wheels. Hope you enjoyed checking out the Keystone Alpine 3910RK with me today. Um, I was impressed with a lot of the features they have here and I really like the, the layout and the floor plan. Uh, if you're enjoying these camper tours as we're doing them, please be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss the next video, and until the next time you find us camping guys, safe travels.